What's up guys and welcome to a brand new video. This is Cars for Sale in South Africa, episode number three. Well, let's get right into it. So after the last episode, I had someone really angry sending me messages saying, Well, why don't you use other websites for cars for sale, like OLX or Junk Mail? Well, dude, to answer your question, there's just not that much JDM stuff for sale on those websites. So anyway, I've dived right into it. I've taken a look at Junk Mail, OLX and Gumtree. And here's what I could find. Now, I want to talk about this ad here. This one freaks me out a little bit. It got posted nine hours ago. I think it's a fake ad. Because if I look in the background, all of the cars and all these photos are taken from a Datsun slash Nissan collector in South Africa by the name of Freak de Kock. He owns a Hakusuka, or Hakuska, I think, whatever. And he's got like a hundred Nissans and Datsuns. It's actually insane. Um, I'm pretty sure this dude stole the photos and is running a scam here. So I just wanted to bring this to attention because I believe that guy is not going to be selling any of his cars. He did say in a video and he did say in the press report and blah, blah. He's keeping it for his children's children. Those were his words. So moving on, OLX, 140,000 Rand, 140,000 Rand before we get into this is 9,600 US dollars. So first of all, some uh, interesting paintwork, I think it's like that crinkle red color, turbocharged. I've never been in a 300ZX. I didn't know it had electric seats. Cool, and it's got cup holders. Or was this put in? I think this was put in. It doesn't belong in the car. Anyway, it looks like a Mad Maxi type vibe. Cool front end. This thing was whole ass. Cool car, cool dog, but bull. I like it. I'm gonna start giving cars ratings. A whole bunch of shit done to the car. So it's got fully forged bottom end. Uh, RX7 radiator. Why would you put an RX7 radiator in the car? They're not that efficient. Insecure, dumping, not the replica one. Okay. 140, not negotiable. Lots of money went into the car. I can see that. I am gonna give you out of 10, a 6 out of 10. Just because I don't like the styling so much. But still a cool car. Don't get me wrong. Moving on. 250,000 Rand. It's also a lot of money. 250,000 Rand is 17,241 US dollars. For this mint condition, let's take a look at the specs first. 1990 model, it's got 14 and a half thousand kilometers in it. Brought in through Mazda, South African registered, one owner since new. Crazy, crazy. So, it's super neat, first of all. Stock, nothing done to it at all. Look at that engine bay, that is pristine. You could eat off of that. Insane. Damn. Oh man, look at this interior. It's like this dude parked the car just outside a shower, took a shower every time he drove the car. Dried himself off, obviously. Got into the car, super clean. Got out. Damn. Dude, you've looked after the car. Probably shouldn't call you dude. Sir, you've really looked after this car. 14 and a half thousand kilometers. This is going to be me one day with my... RX7 and GTR because I barely drive them. <laughs> Mine aren't neat. I'm going to give you a 9 out of 10. The only reason you didn't score 10 out of 10 is because I don't have it. Moving on. This one's been on the show before. Um, he had a weird ad here. I think I think it was this guy actually. He was saying that this MR2 was a turbocharged variant with the 3S GTE and 
it was, well, the turbocharged model, which it wasn't, and you could clearly see in, in these pics. Anyway, it's back for sale again. The, the seller just re-uploaded this, and you can see the, the flat um, fins. However, it's got a GTS badge in the back, not a GTS. This is hella neat. It's a lot neater than my one. And it's it's the same as mine really. It's the Monza G Limited model. This is just a non T top. I think it's a non T top. Blah blah blah. Posted letter original T. Yeah, it's a non T top. It was 92,000 Rand. I'll give you guys a price 92,000 Rand. It's 6,500 US dollars. R32 GTR. Oh, sorry. That MR2, just because it's super neat, I'll give you a 6 out of 10. R32 GTR. Came across this the other day and it's in that very common gunmetal grey colour. Beautiful colour. I've got the silver one underneath the blue plastic top. Gunmetal is really cool. I like it. Missing the GTR badge on the back. Someone probably nicked it. You can see by the ride height that it's on coilovers. Big exhaust. Looks like a nurse pick maybe. A Blitz nurse pick. It's got the original carpets, original seats, original door cards. Steering wheel is, I don't know if it's a Nissan one. Strange. Anyway, there's a wideband in the center console and bronzy color. I think it's like a bronze color. Stock airbox, which probably means you still got the stock twins. I don't know. It's got a hard pipe in the back there. Ooh, I recognize that ECU. Is that a... I'm gonna say AEM. We'll see in a sec. He's painted his brake calipers bronze. Let's take a look. So, BZ coilovers. First of all, he wants 350,000 Rand for this car, which is probably a lot cheaper than what you guys would get yours in the United States for. 14.5, that's 24,000 US dollars. He's got R33 GTR Brembo brakes. He's got some big 265 wheels on the back of the 18s, 9.5J. Got R33 crank and ATR damper pulley. So it looks like the bottom end is done, CP pistons. And then he's got GT2860-5 turbos. These things are pretty potent. I just, it makes the car look so boring though with the twins. Unless you go high mount or yeah, or single. To my down pipes and exhaust system. Don't get me wrong, this car is whole ass still. Oh jeez, I'm such an asshole. That's a Helltech Platinum Pro. Idiot. I knew exactly what it was. Anyway, it's got all the bells and whistles. Um, it's not an extensive list like most other GTRs. I think this one it's been done well. Stock airbox. I think you tastefully modified it to a point where you pull open the bonnet and a cop would be like, oh, okay, well, you've painted it. it looks like it's got a stock airbox. To the unsuspecting owner, uh, not owner, person, the card looks stock. So for the stealth aspect, I think I'd probably give you like an 8 out of 10, knowing that this car will pull and it'll definitely kill mine. But overall, I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10. <laughs> this one. Now, let me come back to this car. Let's push it out there. Alright. This 99 WRX hatch GF8 model. It's cool. I love hatchbacks. I had a 2000 and two bug eye hatch and that that thing was super fun did a lot of work to so 2.2 stroker blah 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 this car it was <laughs> i love this shape it looks like you've yeah you've done quite a bit so you got little str covers in the back you got a front mount intercooler you got that uh lip thing going you got side skirts looks like it's well looked after 180k for it which is 80,000 rand 14.5 is 5,500 US dollars or to swap for a caravan with no wood rot sorry dude I don't have a caravan 
Uh, fully forged engine one year ago. Latest Spitronics custom <laughs> custom heathers. I think you mean custom up pop and custom down pop. Yes, the Subaru does have an up pop. Just for you guys that don't know, it has a GT 3586 turbo, which is big. It's on coilovers, upgrade suspension, coilovers is upgrade custom heathers again. Everything works in the car, including the aircon. Car is strong, one bar, no chancers. Okay. It's cool, but I don't think it's worth the money. For me, at least. I like it. Good luck with the sale. I am going to give you a 6 out of 10. Just because you didn't have any engine bay pictures. That's really it. You probably got a 7 or 8. Moving on. Aha, uh -huh. 200SX or 240SX in the States or 180SX in Japan, either way, they're all S chassis S13s. This has been reviewed two and a half thousand times and it's got a CO18 DT, which is a stock engine that came with this particular car. 80% left on tires, T28 turbo, I think that was a standard turbo that came with it. License is behind two years, which means, what does that mean? It's going to be a little bit expensive to get on the road, but... Actually, not that bad. 55 grand is 53,793 grand, and the car is stock. It's got a sunroof. I like it because it's stock. Because I don't like red. I'm going to give you a five out of ten. And let's move on to this one first. This is the Rocket Bunny. On an five, it's in Durban, it's nearby where I am. I've never seen one in real life. These guys, Auto Niche, they had a Toyota Supra 994 for sale as well with some decent spec list. Now this is cool, this is this is an S14 200 SX. We got these standard or legal here in South Africa. They were imported by Nissan and they were sold here without an issue. So this is not an import car. Nice. Momo wheel. That is a 1J. I'm pretty sure it's a 1J. Shit, okay. It looks normally aspirated though. Look at that. This is definitely normally aspirated. That is so weird. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Complete makeover done professionally, bunny, bunny kit imported from the USA, which includes blah blah blah. Engine change to 1JZ and gearbox, new power shot. That's so much money for this car. There was one for sale for roughly about the same. Um, somewhere, actually, maybe it was on the first episode of the show. Yeah, anyway, a lot of money. It works out to 33,000 US dollars. I don't know how much the kit is worth, but anyway, a lot of money. Because of the rarity, I'm gonna call it, of this kit here in South Africa, I'm gonna give you a seven out of 10. It would have been an eight out of 10, but it's normally aspirated. Boring. Okay, we on to the last two cars. So this car is an well, it belonged to a South African YouTuber. He's not really uploading that often anymore, but he used to own this car and he used to modify it. And we spoke once, uh, he called me and I uh, talked him through the YouTube game. And yeah, anyway, this was his car. Channel name was Game On Garage. And this was his 1995, I think, 94. R33 GTS, I think I'm so bad at the variants. So there's actually videos of him installing these gauges, making this panel, fitting the panel. Oh look, it's nice. I like it. It used to be an auto, if you haven't noticed already, on the, on the cluster. And then it's got that big recess here. So it's got a manual gearbox in now, but it was. Well, it started life off as an auto, which is why I say it's a GTS. 
Prison of the E3. I love this little key thing. So this flips up and you put your key inside. <laughs> That's pretty cheese. Good condition there. Uh, for sale, very good condition. Not much has been done with the body or motor. Basically, still stock. Sort of. It's a GTST, not a. Mm. Straight six near. I'll be 25 papers in order with new license disc. Serious owners only. Cool car. A little bit too much on the asking price for what it is. 180,000. That's 12 and a half thousand US dollars. Because I know this car, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. And the only reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10, I would have given it a 7, is because that asking price is a little bit, a little bit high. If you're watching this, and you want to drop it down substantially, and let me take it home because I've got other JDM cars, let me know. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, anyone else go buy the car? Alright guys, moving on to the final one. If you've made it this far, it means that I haven't bought this car and something came up. Either my wife has said no, um, the car is already sold, or I don't know what else could come in the way. But uh, as soon as I finish filming this video, like in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be making contact with the owner and maybe I'll be buying it. So if you're watching this, I didn't get the car. It's a 206 S chassis, S13, 1990 model. The dude wants 36,000 Rand. Let me show you the price first before we run through photos. That is nothing. 36,000 Rand divided by 14. 2,482 US dollars. Check this out. So dashboard looks great. You can see there's like some 5x3 speaker on the door that looks crappy, Sansui radio, so everything was done on the cheap sound wise, but you don't care about sound when you're buying this car. Anyway, dashboard is great, it needs a clean, you can already see feather duster to it and you sort it. Body looks okay, it looks straight. I'm pretty sure paint would need some issues, yeah. would need a little bit of a clean up or respray or something, but it's cheap. I like cheap. I don't know why. So ever since I got the MR2 and the black RX-7, I mean the, the silver RX-7 and my GTR were not cheap. But the other cars were. So ever since then, I like looking at cheap shit. You can see in the front there's a little bit of road rash. Other than that, I don't like the wheels. And it's definitely on stock suspension. Original carpet, steering wheel, door cards a little bit buggered. Seats will probably need to be replaced, but in all honesty, you'd throw in something like um, Recaro or Bride or whatever. I want this car. Okay. I've got to make two outros now, just in case it's sold, because then I'm going to surprise you guys in the video with this car. So, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching this right now, the car is sold and I'm super sad. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're driven